Hello YouTube. This video is about running wire in conduit using a couple of tools. I'm gonna use this steel fish tape. You can buy it in different sizes. I happen to have a hundred foot because I had longer wire runs that I had to do. Um, so this is the first tool is the hundred foot steel tape and I will use my car. Yes, it sounds pretty strange, but I will show you exactly what I mean. Okay, so I have 25 feet of 10 gauge wire that I need to run in this liquid tight, flexible, non-metallic conduit, three quarters inch. So first thing to do, I'm gonna go ahead and unpack these, lay them out as flat as possible and then get going. One thing I should mention is in my case, I'm not just running the 25 feet of 10 gauge wire in the conduit. I actually have to also run six gauge ground wire. So I have six gauge stranded ground wire that needs to run with the 10 gauge wire in the conduit. So I'll get things set up and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so I'm gonna start out laying the conduit um, first, straighten it out as much as possible, as it doesn't have to be perfectly straight, but close enough. After opening the conduit, in my case, I got a little kink in the conduit. That's usually pretty rare. Um, these things are usually pretty solid, but I have to fix that. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this tool right here kind of press on it a little bit and try to undo this kink. If that doesn't work, it's only about four inches or so. So I may just cut, cut it and not have to worry about it. Okay. Flat. Now, hint, I am going to be using the wheel of the car to be the other side of my wire puller. I'll show you exactly what I mean here in a minute. So lay it out perpendicular to the car as flat as possible, just like this. Next, I'm gonna run this fish tape in the conduit from the other end towards the car. Okay, so I'm using this ground wire as weight, holding one end and feeding the steel fish tape from the other end. Um, I'll keep the video running so you can see. Should come out here. Okay, got the steel fish tape all the way to the other side of the conduit, as you can see. Now on to the next step. So I've got the steel fish tape all the way through. Here's the conduit, here's the other end. What I'm gonna start doing now is I'm gonna, here's my wire all laid out. So I'm going to connect this wire to the steel tape. In my case, like I said, I gotta also run this ground with it. So here is the ground. I'm basically going to tie all these together and tape it all very well. And then tape the very front part right here so it's nice and smooth on the front and then slide it in and then I'll show you the next steps. So I got my ground wire, I got my electric wire and then here's my steel tape and I'm going to go ahead and tape all of this together and then slide it in. So I'll show you how to do that. Let's use electrical tape. It's usually pretty sticky, pretty sturdy. 
it can withstand this kind of withstand this kind of uh, pressure and pulling through it. So it should work. I like to tape about a foot or so uh, of this. That way, there is enough of a contact, enough uh, sturdiness as you pull the conduit over the wire. Should be fairly uh, simple and straightforward. What we're really doing here is pulling the conduit over the wire rather than pulling the wire into the conduit. I'm gonna tape it a little bit more. Keep pushing on it so it's nice and sticky. And then it's very important that you make this front part as smooth as possible to reduce any friction um, as the wire is going through the conduit and you're pulling. So, so make sure this is pretty smooth. So I'm gonna keep taping over it a couple of times. Nothing bulging, reduce the bulge as much as possible. That way it's not scraping through the inside of the conduit as you're pulling it. Okay, got it all done. I think this one is ready to go. So uh, now on to the car step. So I, like I said, I'm gonna use my car to do this job. So what does that mean? Well, I'm gonna take my tape, steel tape, and I'll lay it out here, right under the front wheel of my vehicle, just like that. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start it up, I'm gonna roll right over it, just a little bit, and use the car on this tape as leverage to pull the wire. Sturdy enough. I think we got it. Now, I'm gonna go all the way back there and then start pulling the conduit over the wire and make enough slack so when it's all said and done, this end of the conduit will end up right about there with wire, electric wire and ground wire all the way through it. Okay, I got everything ready. Here's my conduit, the end of the steel tape under the car. And it's a little dark in here, but I can still show you. I got my steel tape. I got my ground wire and my electric wire all laid out all the way through. So what I'm gonna start doing here is slide the end into this. As you can see, wire slid in there. And now I'm gonna start pulling on the conduit. Here we go, starting to stretch out. Here's my wire into the conduit. I'm gonna lay it out flat. I'm gonna clear all the way here. And then pull the conduit over the wire. Everything is ready. Conduit all the way through. Here's the beginning of the wire. And I've got it all laid out. I'll show you real quick how it's easy to pull. Here's the beginning. I'm using one arm. Here's the car. And I'll start pulling. Oh, sliding in. See right there. I'm using only one hand. Pretty easy. It's going right over. As you keep the three wires together, slide the conduit over it, it becomes easier and easier. I think I'm almost halfway through, but the car acts as leverage. Here's the other end. Now, as you could see, the steel wire 
keeps coming out. Held down by my car. Thank you, car. And then eventually the other end of the wire is gonna come out here. Okay, got the conduit all the way through. I like to leave a little bit of slack. In my case, I had 25 feet of conduit and 25 feet of wire. And I wanna have slack on every side. So I know it's not gonna come all the way out the other side. So what I'm gonna do is simply cut a piece from the end right about here. I can already feel the wire right here. So I'm gonna cut a piece right there and then I'd have a little bit of wire slack on one side and slack on the other. And that's pretty much it. So I went ahead and cut the wire. Here's the other end that I taped. I'm gonna go ahead and slide this part conduit out. And here is my wire. Now, I do know that I had taped around roughly a foot. So I'm gonna make another cut here. And then um, basically make the part that I taped be my slack. So um, I'm gonna cut around here. Now you gotta be careful, make sure you don't nick the wire itself. Um, that way you're only cutting the conduit and not touching the wire. Just keep your utility knife on the outside. There we go. So, got it all done. All right, well, some of you guys are asking, well, what are we gonna do with this? Uh, steel tape. Well, what I'm gonna do is back my car out, get this tape free and simply pull, undo this part that I taped together using electrical wire and simply pull the tape back. Pulling the tape should be easy because uh, there's not a whole lot of friction with this steel tape. So I'm just gonna pull this tape back through the conduit and then roll it up um, where it came from. So that way, just like that, I used the car and some steel tape to put some six gauge ground wire, 10 gauge electrical wire through 25 feet of conduit. I guess I'll show you exactly how I pull the steel tape out of the conduit. So I just reversed the order. I put the other end under the car when I roll the car over it and then I'm going to take this other side the side where the wire came out of after pulling the conduit over the wire I'll take this side right there over there and pull and then the steel wire will come right out here's the steel wire so I'm just going to reverse the order use my car again and then pull the wire, steel wire, out of the conduit. So here we go. Okay, wire is secure. Time to reverse the pulling get this steel wire out. So okay, let's take this steel wire that I used to roll a conduit over all the way to the other side. And then we'll be pulling the conduit for this time, getting the steel wire out of it. To get everything ready, other end is reversed. Here is where the wire came out of. Steel wire is on this side now. Here is the 
the tape that rolls the whole steel tape in, the big wheel is under the car. So I'm going to go over here and start pulling wire, pulling the conduit with the wire, with the electric wire in, so I can get the steel tape out. Here we go. So everything is ready. Now this time, as I'm pulling the conduit, I'm gonna be also holding onto the wires that I rolled through. So here it is. I got my electric tape, my ground wire, and here is the steel tape that I want to roll towards their vehicle, towards the car. So I'm gonna grab onto the electric tape, the ground wire, and the conduit and start pulling. I'll show you the first part. Here it is. I'm only using one hand and it's coming out fairly easy. Should I keep pulling? Use both hands and it'll come right out. That took about two minutes. Here is the steel tape. Here is the conduit with the wires in it. Now I'm gonna roll my car back, get the wheel, roll the steel tape back in. Now I'm all done. Job completed, did it by myself. It was late at night. I had some time to do it. So thanks to my car for helping out and thanks to the steel tape for staying sturdy. I hope you liked this video and I hope you found it helpful. Have a good day.